The final technique we're going to cover is sweep arpeggios, which tends to be the most challenging. It usually takes months of solid practicing before you can do this with any type of proficiency. I found it easiest to learn a three-string arpeggio first and then extend that to five-string arpeggios and six-string arpeggios. What makes this technique a little different is instead of doing an up-down, up-down motion for each string, you actually pick up, 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 down, 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 or down, 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 up, 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 depending on which direction you're going from. So for a three-string one, uh, pay close attention to my right hand as it's going up, then down, and sweeping across the strings. So a three-string arpeggio played slow would sound like this. Get up to speed. Once you get the three string arpeggio down, you can move to the five string arpeggio. And it's the same exact mechanics, you're just incorporating more strings. It's also good to keep in mind the use of vibrato on the last note you're playing, which is just bending a note. Which gives it a more musical, less mechanical feel. So the five string E minor arpeggio sounds like this. Up the tempo.